During this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to add a zoom area to a Captivate project. And I'm going to show you how to control the quality of the image that appears in the zoom destination. So first, to insert a zoom area, I'm going to go to Objects and choose Zoom Area. Two things show up on your screen. This is the zoom source and, of course, the zoom destination. The zoom source is the area of the screen that you want to get bigger. I'm going to take the zoom source and position it over the picture of this good looking young fella and resize it. And as I resize it, notice the zoom destination adjusts accordingly. I'm going to take the zoom destination and position it right about here on my slide. And here's where things go a little bit wrong. I'm going to resize the zoom destination and I'm going to use my shift key when I resize keep everything proportional. So here I go. That should have worked out perfectly, but what you can see, the zoom source image looks okay. The zoom destination image is pixelated. I'm going to deselect the zoom destination, preview the project by pressing function key 4. And you can see if I pause, blurry. That's no good. So I'm going to show you an alternative to using a blurry image as your background in the destination. So I'll close the preview, and here's the trick. I actually have the same picture that I used here on my hard drive. The picture is really, really big. It was cropped by a designer, very similar to the image shown here. And I'm going to leverage that in the zoom destination. And this is what a lot of people overlook. I'm going to select the zoom destination and on my properties inspector right here there is a button that says add new image I'm going to go ahead and click it I'm going to click the import button I'm going to navigate to a location where I have the bigger graphic here it is right here I'll open it and you can see right away image fits in that box replaces the image that was there, basically a blow up of the background, but you can really see it's nice and sharp. And I'll press function key number four. And here it comes, I'll pause, much better. There you have it. 